So in this video, let us look at the next formula which is called Napier's rule. So Napier's rule says that tan of B minus C by 2, the difference of two angles by 2 is equal to B minus C by B plus C times cot of the remaining angle by 2. And you have different formulas of this form. If you have B minus C by 2, you have B minus C by B plus C into cot A by 2. We have C minus A by 2, we have C minus A by C plus A into cot B by 2. So what are the two angles that are used here? You got the other angle here. Tan A minus B by 2 is equal to A minus B by A plus B times cot of C by 2. So you can write the other formulas also. Tan of C minus B by 2 will be C minus B by C plus B times cot A by 2 so on. So let us try to see how these formulas are obtained. So these formulas are derived from sine rule. So let us take one of these and derive this. So what does sine rule say? Sine rule says that a by sine a is equal to b by sine b is equal to c by sine c is equal to 2r. So this we have already derived. If you take any two of this, let us take two of them. From this, can I say that a by b is equal to sin a by sin b, right? a by b is equal to sin a by sin b. And this implies, so if you use component and dividend here, if you use component and dividend, a minus b by a plus b is equal to sin a minus sin b by sin a plus sin b. That is equal to, so this implies a minus b by a plus b is equal to, so here you have sin c minus sin d by sin c plus sin d. You can use transformation formulas. What is sin c minus sin d? 2 sin a minus b by 2 into cos a plus b by 2 divided by, what is sin a plus sin b? 2 sin a plus b by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2. This is 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Sin a minus b by 2 by cos a minus b by 2 is tan a minus b by 2. Tan of a minus b by 2. And what is cos a plus b by 2 by sin a plus b by 2? This cot of a plus b by by 2. So if cot a plus b by 2 comes on to this side, it becomes 1 by cot a plus b by 2 or tan a plus b by 2. So this implies tan of a minus b by 2 is equal to a minus b by a plus b times tan of a plus b by 2. Now we know that ABC is a triangle. So A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. So what is A plus B? 180 degrees minus C. What is A plus B by 2? 90 minus C by 2. So what is tan of A plus B by 2? That's nothing but tan of 90 minus C by 2 which is equal to cot of c by 2. So this tan of a plus b by 2 will be converted into cot of c by 2. That is equal to a minus b by a plus b into cot of c by 2. So we have derived the last formula. So if you take these two, you got the relation between a minus b. If you take these two, you get the relation corresponds to b minus c. If you take the first and last, you get the relation correspond to the second relation, second equation. So in this way, you can derive the rule called Napier's rule. So what does this rule say? Tan of some angle minus some angle by 2 is equal to the difference of the corresponding sides by sum of the corresponding sides into cot of the remaining angle by 2. So this Napier's rule will be used in questions involving tan of b minus c by 2 or cot of a by 2. So you can very clearly see in the question, if the question contains terms like this or this or this, we usually use 
the Napier's rule to solve those questions. So let us take an example. So in this question, if you're given that angle A is equal to 60 degrees, the ratio of B and C is root 3 plus 1 is to 2 and you're asked to find angle B minus angle C. So seeing angle B minus C, you remember Napier's rule. So which says that tan of B minus C by 2 is equal to B minus C by B plus C times cot of A by 2, right? So angle A is given. So cot A by 2 is very straightforward. B is to C is given. So B minus C by B plus C is also very straightforward. So you can find these two terms very easily. So cot A by 2 is nothing but cot of 30 degrees which is equal to root 3 and B by C is equal to root 3 plus 1 by 2. So if you use component and dividend of B minus C by B plus C is equal to root 3 plus 1 minus 2 by root 3 plus 1 plus 2. That is equal to root 3 minus 1 by root 3 plus 3. That is equal to root 3 minus 1 by root 3 times root 3 plus 1. So B minus C by B plus C is this. So once you have both of these values, let me substitute these two values. So tan of B minus C by 2 is equal to B minus C by B plus C is root 3 minus 1 by root 3 times root 3 plus 1 times cot A by 2 is cot 30 which is equal to root 3. So root 3 and root 3 gets cancelled. So root 3 minus 1 by root 3 plus 1 corresponds to tan of how much? Tan of 15 degrees, right? Is a standard value root 3 minus 1 by root 3 plus 1. Tan of 15 degrees. So this implies B minus C by 2 on comparison is equal to 15 degrees. This implies B minus C is equal to 30 degrees. So the value of angle B minus angle C is 30 degrees. So that is the answer to this question. Thank you.